What's going on YouTube fam and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Facebook expat groups. Gifts or a curse? So let me tell you a little bit why I say that. Now as we all know expat groups on Facebook are very popular depending on what country you go to. There's always going to be foreigners that come together and create groups to network. Also that mix in with the locals as well. And they offer a lot of good information. There's all kinds of events, all kinds of things going on, language exchange, uh, meetups, people selling stuff, all kinds of stuff. Like, uh, I think it's a great thing. But also it can be a little bit, how can I say, not so good, we'll just say that. And in this video, I'm gonna break down to you um, what the good parts are, the bad parts are of being a part of one of these groups, because I think that, in my opinion, they're more good than bad. But there are things that you should watch out for and things that you expect if you're planning on moving abroad, visiting abroad and joining one of these groups. And I think it's important to let y'all know. I think this is a, a well uh, needed topic to cover. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to let you know the pros and cons of it so you can understand what it's like. And yeah, we're going to get into it. So without further ado, we're going to start off with the pros all right we're doing a little walking and talking today so let's start out with the pros of these facebook groups now the pros outweigh the cons in my opinion and let's talk about some of them the pros is that for example let's say you're going to lima peru you're going to sydney australia you're going to i don't know uh vilnius lithuania for example right and you are going to be staying there for an amount of time whether you're visiting or you're planning on actually relocating there you're going to want to connect with people there to kind of, you know, make friends, network, learn the lay of the land. Uh, also, you'll probably find people who speak your language and are from where you're from, maybe, that can help you with things, different resources that can help you with, you know, how it is living there and, you know, meetups to meet new people. And also in these groups, a lot of locals, too, are in there because they want to meet foreigners like a lot of locals are curious to make foreigners or friends no matter what it's about whether they want to practice their english or another language or whatever it may be okay so we have all kinds of resources you can make friendships you can have business meetups all right they have here in guadalajara they have business networking meetups and professionals get together and talk business so if that's what you're looking for it's definitely there please excuse this bus in the background it's rush hour right now all right okay here's another one sorry so these are great things about that now you, a lot of people they have commerce on there they sell things um you know all kinds of services people advertise apartments rooms for rent things like that and i think these are really good resources because you go to a place and you're really not familiar with the way things work you know other people who have the same experience as a foreigner come in there it's going to be good to know you're going to have a, a, some guidelines and you know you can make friends or whatever it may be with these people not only that you meet locals you know you learn out what's going on around the town events that are happening cultural things best restaurants to eat you know all kinds of everything you can imagine so i think these groups are a great source of these types of information because that's why they're there to give information so i'm a big advocate of that i think that that's important you know um when you're going somewhere, you know, you can read all you want, you know, but at the same time, when you have a connection, when you can ask people who are, you know, living the life, it's really good. So I'm a part of a couple of Facebook groups here in Guadalajara specifically, and there's a lot of people that offer good information. There's a lot of, eh, we'll get into that after that, but um, I think mostly good, okay? And I think that if they're used the right way, now, you know, you'll get the right benefits you're looking for out of it right you know what i mean so in short make a long story short facebook expat expat facebook groups excuse me are really good tools to use they do help out and i'm telling you it doesn't matter where you're going what country you're going to you could be going to the i don't know to to egypt or freaking south africa or wherever you're going you're gonna find groups on there that are like that you know for foreigners and, and locals alike so definitely it's a good tool i recommend joining them and with that being said, we're gonna get into some next things here that I want y'all to take with a grain of salt and a couple of examples on what goes on in these groups. So let me start walking again real quick and we'll talk about that. So the cons of these groups are, you're gonna have a lot of negative people, okay? You're gonna have negative people talking a lot of negative stuff and some people that like to talk just to talk, right? They don't really have much to offer. They just wanna put their two cents in, even their two cents doesn't you know, add up to anything really. So I'll give you some examples. There are people where 
you will ask a question, right? And you're asking for a specific a, a, a part of information, a specific type of information. And then they'll just talk about something that has nothing to do with it or throwing some negativity about it when really you just want to know answer to a simple question. Now, I get it. There's people out there who they ask silly questions and stuff, and I've seen many of it, you know, but it is what it is, you know. But then you'll have people that are just relentless, like all they do is comment nonsense. They offer nothing of value to that, okay? So I can give you an example of this this one particular woman who's always just the most negative person in these Guadalajara Facebook groups. So basically, I'm trying to think of the best example, but she's the worst, but let's get to it. I remember someone asking, uh, there was this lady, I think she was from Europe, if I'm not mistaken. She secured a job in Mexico for a Mexican company. All her paperwork sponsored, the whole deal, all good. So she was just asking about a couple of things, the way things work, right, you know? Um, mostly unrelated to her job so this woman the negative woman comes in uh, completely unsolicited and says well you know mexican jobs pay mexican salaries and everybody's like well and i'm looking like what, what the heck you anything i mean she accepted the job so i'm sure she knows she's getting paid a mexican money a mexican salary so for that part i was a little thrown off um and that was that wasn't the first i mean i've seen all kinds of things where you have green you know other foreigners who you know they think they know everything about mexico like for example there was one person who was like oh well if you wear shorts they're gonna know you're a tourist mexicans don't wear shorts uh that's a lie mexicans do wear shorts yes it's very common to wear jeans in all types of weather but you're not gonna like and first of all who cares like if, if you look like a foreigner or not it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter you know or they'll say oh well uh, margaritas and burritos uh, people don't eat or drink that in mexico that's that's an american man no it's not you can get a margarita anywhere here in mexico really good ones too and good burritos okay so just little stupid things like that and then there's people who will give false information who really don't know what they're talking about they just want to say something they'll say oh this is the standard i've been here i know everything okay there will be foreigners who think that oh well uh you know you you came to mexico and you want to live in a nice neighborhood and whatever whatever and you know like trying to criticize you because you chose to live in a nice neighborhood you know little silly things like that that's just some of them you'll have some of them that will play the whole identity politics and like trying to find reasons to get offended and no matter what you say it'll just be negativity so those are some of the negative things in these facebook groups that you're gonna see so just prepare yourself they're gonna be people that are just talking nonsense that's basically what it is they're talking nonsense and they're miserable and they want you to feel miserable too but just know that there. most of these people in there have good information. I've, I've interacted with cool people, have had good information for things I was curious about. So in that regard, I do recommend you all join these Facebook groups if you're wherever you're move, planning on moving to, you know, relocating or staying a while in, because it's good information, good source of information. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be, you know, it's good to have that. It's good to have some resources for people that are on the ground. But yeah, you're gonna see, you guys are gonna see. If you haven't seen already, I'm sure some of you out there see. If you have experienced this, let me know in the comments what some of the stuff you've seen, because I'm curious to know. Um, but yeah, basically it was just this talking about, you know, the good and the bad of the expat groups. You're gonna have people who are know-it-alls or think they know it all. You're gonna have people who are negative all the time, never offer anything of value. But then you're gonna have people that offer amazing value, a lot of different things that you can learn from them, a lot of good information to share and good help. And you can meet people in business, friendships and all of that. So I definitely recommend doing it, but just be prepared. You're gonna meet some, some selective, some uh, interesting individuals. We'll just use that word. Some interesting individuals out there that are not really adding much to the conversational quality of what the group is all about, all right? But just wanna make a quick video on that for you all. Um, like I said, long story short, join the expat group. It's a great tool. I still use them. I skim through it. Whatever You can find all kinds of stuff on there, and you can do all, make all kinds of connections, all right? So long story short, it's a good tool more than it's bad, all right? But it's, it just gets a little bit annoying, all right? But out of that, yeah, definitely join them. Great resources. So thank you all for watching i appreciate you all out there tuning in if you haven't subscribed sorry i got a little sweaty if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave your comments let you know what you think about the content your experiences anything that i post i appreciate each and every one of you out there i'm gonna keep taking a little bit of walk out here got a couple errands to run but i'm gonna be back again soon with another video you all be safe out there and i'll catch you the next time peace y'all